Hello! Would you believe it? Band Aid is back. People are feeding the world through the power of music. Artists from all across the world are flying in just to record a couple of lines for this momentous track and Bob Geldof is swearing on live TV again. I think they're talking bollocks. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. I feel like there's so much to talk about with Band Aid that I almost don't want to talk about it? I mean, on the surface, it's just a charity single, isn't it? Trying to raise money for a good cause. I mean, what's wrong with that? Well, there is the problem of treating Africa as one place rather than over 50 countries with individual issues to consider. And just how much of this is Bob Geldof blowing his own trumpet? And then there's the argument that this paternalistic attitude towards Africa just isn't right. It almost, it's like an extension of the whole colonial backstory that Europe has with Africa and it's just there's all kinds of different arguments to it. I'm not saying any of them are right or wrong, it's just you have to consider them. And as is often the case with me, I sit on the fence because I sympathise with both sides. It's true that buying a single isn't going to change the world as we know it and there is a whole lot of other issues to consider when tackling Ebola and there's loads of other different projects from actual governing bodies and health organisations tackling Ebola but at the same time it's charity and all charity when you think about it has a sort of paternalistic a you know, aspect to it it's all about giving you know and what's wrong with giving a little bit of money to charity to help it you know every little bit that helps what's wrong with that basically i don't want to go too much into it because there's a lot to consider and there are other critics out there who are much more qualified to talk about it than i am what i found interesting was this idea that you could have different versions of the song you could have like from different artists recording the tracks from different countries and then it got me thinking to this crazy idea what if the characters from the harry potter magical universe the witches and wizards did their own cover of a song. I can just imagine the Ministry of Magic or Hogwarts teachers, witches and wizards, talking to one another and going, look at these muggles spreading peace and goodwill to all men through recording this song, downloading it and listening to it on their iPods. And then they go, hang on, what's an iPod? Because witches and wizards do really seem to have this fear of technology, don't they? I can't imagine they'll be asking for any gadgets for Christmas. Like broomsticks again? Really? Every year? But in all honesty, I think it could really work. I mean, just imagine. At Christmas time, we let in light and we burn a shade. With Lumos. There's all kinds of magical puns that can be made, but the most important thing, who would be singing each line? That's where the real debate begins. First off the mark, I want Dumbledore on the opening lines because A, he is such a prominent wizard that he needs to be a part of it, and B, on the line, we let it in light and we banish shade. He could either do the whole hand thing over the candles, or he could use his illuminator. It'd just be, oh, it'd be a brilliant effect to have. After that, I would have Snape singing the next line, but in a way that makes it sound like he's been reluctantly drawn into it because he has to. I mean, can you imagine him saying smiles of joy, throw your arms around the world? Just imagining Snape saying that would be hilarious. And I think you'd have to have Harry singing Bono's iconic line, Well, tonight, thank God it's him. I'm not even going to try and do that, I just, I just can't sing. But yeah, it's got to be either Harry or Hagrid, because Hagrid has quite a robust, booming voice, which I think would work well in the singing. Now, obviously, there are more characters in the Harry Potter universe than you can fit into the song, but there are a few groups you can lump together. Ron can duet with Hermione. All the prominent teachers like McGonagall, Flitwick and Sprout can do a line. You've got to get the Gryffindor lads together. Neville, Seamus and Dean, opposite the Ravenclaw girls Luna and Cho. I think that'll work quite nicely. Now, the Weasleys are an interesting one because I quite like the idea of having Fred and George just by themselves, but then you can't really have the other Weasley kids just by themselves. You have to put them all in together Although I do think it'd be nice to have Molly and Arthur Weasley doing a little bit by themselves. Malfoy, of course, would be flanked by Crab and Goyle. And then personally, I would put all the Death Eaters in together. Yes, I know they're evil buggers, but they can still spread peace and goodwill at Christmas in a crazy sort of way. The one possible exception to the Death Eater rule would be Bellatrix. I, I quite like the idea of Bellatrix going with Voldemort, but at the same time, there's also a part of me that thinks, no, Voldemort should be alone. He would go solo. He's a very solitary figure. When I was a boy. Obviously the Weird Sisters would be the backing band. And I'm not sure where, but Dobby has to go in somewhere. He's, he's just got to. If that seems too much, like we're cramming too many characters into one song, then you could have a good version of the song and an evil version of the song. The good version featuring the Hogwarts characters and then the evil song featuring Death Eaters and other cretins that pop up in the series. 
I mean, you can even have different versions for each of the houses of Hogwarts. The possibility is just endless. So now it's over to you. If you've got a particular character that you want to have seen in a particular line, let me know down in the comments. Or if there's someone that I've missed out and you think should feature in a song, let me know as well. It's an open forum, so let's get loads of ideas going and make a nice big bubbly potion in a cauldron of Christmassy wonder. Don't know where I was going with that, but it's a nice image anyway. Just thinking about what I've been talking about in this video, it really is completely bonkers, but that's what I've got to offer. See you guys next time.